and we defend them vigorously and legally. The Common Sense Show. Sign up. Subscribe. Hit the notifications tab. You'll also be notified when we do something new. We're brought to you by the best storable food company in the world. And you're going to need this. When the full effects of what I'm going to tell you set in, and I don't think there's any way to avoid it, you're going to need food, water, guns, gold, ammo, natural medicine, and tools. All right, shout out to one. start saying all praise and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rokha All right, double honor to our apostle, Elsa Great Millstone. Um, peace and mercy be unto the Lord's elect out there, teaching the word and truth for sincerity. I'm the brother of Mar from the branch of GMS Cleveland. Coming back at you with another video. And, um, yeah, man, what you just heard is uh, Dave Hodges, which he, he does some decent videos on the uh, economy. And, um, you know, he pretty much updates you um, with the status of, uh, you know, uh, like I said, economics and, like, geopolitics and stuff like that. But uh, what he just said, man, was true. You know what I'm saying? Um, if you if you are um, aware of what's happening and if you are a person that is not abiding in the truth and you are just a regular, you know, um, you're an individual that 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 I guess trying to have some type of hope in this world, you, it would be wise to, you know, to uh, stock up on them things. But, you know, us being men of the Lord, or Lord willing, a potential men of the Lord, uh, our hope and faith is not in those things, it's in Yah Bashim Yah Shah, because ultimately we know those things are not going to um, save us uh, when all hell breaks loose, you know what I'm saying? Now, if you have those things, it's good, but, you know, ultimately our trust is in Yah Bashim Yah Shah. But he said, uh, and I'll just let him repeat it real quick. Going to tell you, set in, and I don't think there's any way to avoid it. You're going to need food, water, guns, gold, ammo, natural medicine, and tools. Yeah, so he said food, water, you know, um, guns, and some other stuff, man. But yeah, it's true, man. You're going to need those things, man. But like I said, we know those things aren't going to save you. You know what I'm saying? But um, without further ado, let me see if I can grab that precept that I wanted. This is Jeremiah chapter 11 and 22. It says, Therefore, thus saith the Lord, it says, Lord of hosts, behold, I will punish them. The young man shall die by the sword. The sons and their daughters shall die by the famine, man. So, <coughs> um, yeah, man, we're entering those times, man, where, you know, if you are not covered, you know, uh, by the blood, you have by Shai, and if you don't have this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, and ultimately, if you're not slated uh, to receive salvation and, and um, Protection in these days, it doesn't matter. And that's a, that's the thing is um you know um you know uh, believers we understand that all things um you know uh, uh, goes according to the will of the Lord. So you can be somebody that has those things and, and you still don't get delivered, or still get saved out of your situation. Um, that's why it ultimately just pays to uh, trust in Yah by Shemel Shah. But I'm gonna let him keep talking because he's gonna bring out some more points and I hit some more scriptures. Bulls. Let's start with the food. Um, I did a radio interview today with Bob, speaking of Bob, and it will air tomorrow. And Bob said, you have to do what you got to do to get your preps. Borrow money, run your credit card up. You don't have long. Let's talk about how to get your food first. Preparewithdave.com, 25-year shelf life, restaurant quality, lots of diversity in the food, but it's well-balanced. There's variety within the breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And there's also a great sale that when you go to preparewithdave.com, you'll see all about the sale. Order as much as you can get. Now, Bob is saying two years. DHS and FEMA say six months. I know who I trust. All right. <laughs> preparewithdave.com I'm just looking here at any changes and there's none um, since Biden took over and this doesn't count Trump spending uh, Trump spending was bad enough for the mitigation lockdown pay people not to work so forth and so on the um, the fact is we've spent 2.6 trillion dollars this year mitigating the effects of the virus and the lockdowns. The M1 money supply looked like a graph like this. 
Now, here's the problem. I, it just, just is mind boggling because I like to come on here with solutions. There is none. Well, there's personal preparation things you can do. But for our country, there is no economic solution. None. Zero. Signing on with the reconciliation bill will make no difference. It'll just make the bad things happen that much faster. If we keep printing money for a diminishing reserve currency, that means increasingly less backing it up. You've got a fiat currency. This kind of debt will crush that currency. You'll have hyperinflation, and we're already seeing the beginnings of it now. I think we all have to agree. All right, I'll stop right there. You can watch the rest of the video uh, when you get time. But, yeah, what he just said is definitely true, and you can see that um, if you are living today on this earth, um, you can see that to this day. Um, the, the hyperinflation, um, well, I'm going to say inflation is happening. Hyperinflation is yet to come, but it will. But inflation is definitely happening. Um, basically, just an increase on, you know, um, items and things of that nature, um, whether it be gas or whatever. But basically, everything uh, within the earth goes up, you know, and you're basically, well, your you're purchasing power, the dollar goes down. But uh, nonetheless, uh, he's right, man. He's on point, man. You know what I'm saying? And you can see, like I said, you go to the store, the things um, that you buy, uh, there were, if you noticed uh, earlier this year, the cost of it was a little uh, lower. You know what I'm saying? But now you go there, it's a little higher. But anyway, yeah, man, that's just a, that's just a sign of a, de a declining uh, empire. You know what I'm saying? But um, that's all prophecy as well. I want to get this real quick. This is uh, Jeremiah 51. I'll start at 8. It says Babylon has suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take balm for her. Pay, take balm for her pain. It says uh, if so be she may be healed, man. And balm was a uh, it's, it's a healing um, a ointment. You know what I'm saying? That you use uh, to um, it's an ointment that you use uh, for, for 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 healing. You know what I'm saying? So if you got scars and bruises and things of that nature, something they use in the ancient world you know, to recover. Um, uh, it says verse nine. It says uh, we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. But she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go every one into his own country. For judgment reacheth unto heaven and is lifted up to the skies, man. Yeah. So man, look, Babylon a great man. The judgment has already been set. Is 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 already etched in stone, man. What the heavenly Father uh, is going to do to this place uh, via his son. And the angels, man. You know what I'm saying? So there's nothing nobody can do. There's not there's no economic uh stimulus package you can, you know, push out there to uh, you know uh, help this place bounce back and recover. And the fucked up part about it on their end is that is that these elites they have um uh, the monetary means to uh, uh you know to bring this place back to life, but we know it's not in their spirit uh, to do so, man. Because you know he saw Edom, he saw Edom as a devil. He's a greedy bastard, man. You know what I'm saying? He like to see the people suffer. But that's okay, man. You know what I'm saying? Do what you need to do. And um, the Heavenly Father's going to do what he got to do as well. You know what I'm saying? Like a, like the scripture said, there's, there's, you're not going to heal Babylon. There's nothing. And he said it too in his video, man. It, basically, there's nothing nobody can do uh, for the times we're headed into, man. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 14, verse 11. It says, that pomp is brought down to the grave because, yeah, you know, uh, you know, and, and back in the ancient world, you watch those ancient movies, man. You always had uh, somebody uh, being called like a pompous uh, person, basically a proud, you know, I mean, individual, man. Like you, his heart is lifted up in them. Um, and uh, uh, the uh, the energy that uh, these Americans, that typical American, gives off um, is is that pompous attitude, man. You know what I'm saying? And uh, this, these people are proud, man. They don't know. Uh, well, first off, they don't believe, but they don't know as well that the Heavenly Father is about to get ready to destroy this place soon. And shit, we could be um, talking in sometime in the year 2022, which we're, we're literally a couple of days away. Um, later on this week, I believe Friday or Saturday will be the first of, and it'll be January um, 2022. Yeah, man. So we don't got that much longer, man. Lord willing, Yabashi Melshah gets us out of this place soon, man. He destroys this place, but we can see the downfall. Um, of this place happening. This is Isaiah 14 and 11 again. It says, Thy pomp is brought down to the grave, and the noise of thy vows. It says, The worms spread under thee, and the worms cover thee, man. It says, How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? 
That's the son of the morning. How art thou cut down to the ground, which didst weaken the nations, man? And so you, you know, even even though um, Babylon the Great has had its part in weakening the nations, and um, ultimately uh, the destiny for this place is destruction, man. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing nobody can do to uh, reverse that. There's nothing. In, you can't get around what, what the Heavenly Father has set in stone, man. It's already, it's, he's bound by his word, so it's going to happen, man. You know, matter of fact, let me get this, man. Let me see. Uh, is this it? I think it's the one, man. Uh, it might be Isaiah 55. Yep, here we go. This is Isaiah chapter 55, verse 10. It says, as, as for as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven and returneth not uh, thither, but watereth the earth and make it bring forth in bud, that it may bring seed to the sower and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not it shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. It shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it, man. So, yeah, it, it's going to prosper it's, it's, it's like it says it's going to prosper in the thing where to I sent it, man. man it's going to come into fruition, man. It's going to happen, man. And then it says, but it says, but it shall accomplish that which I please, man. And, so, and the thing that the Heavenly Father pleases to do is to destroy this wicked place, man. Because what the scriptures say, it says, um, let me get it real quick, man. I believe it's this chapter. Let me see it, man. It says thou art not a God that have pleasure in wickedness, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, here we go. This is uh, Psalms five and four. It says, For thou for thou art not a God that have pleasure in the wickedness, neither shall evil dwell with thee, man. Yeah, so the Heavenly Father, man, he's not a God that has pleasure in wickedness, man. So he's not gonna let this place stand. This place being this place and these people um that dwell here, they've been getting away with a lot of of, of wicked shit, man. So ultimately, man, it's time for you to to pay. It's time for you to pay, um, you know, the price, man, and the price for wickedness, man. The, the wages of sin is death, man. And we're when we're talking about the man of sin, everything he does, um, is rooted in wickedness, man. You know what I mean? So you you you've been living a life of of, of sin. Guess what you're gonna guess you're gonna get for that death. That's your, that's your destiny, man. And the Heavenly Father, um, is it, 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 he has, <laughs> um. I'm going to just say a lot of missiles. I'll put it like that, man. I believe it's 200 million. He has a lot of missiles waiting for you, waiting for you people, man. And there's one more I wanted to get, man. Um, I said because of that wickedness. If I can't find it, I'll just, uh, I'll just leave it at that, man. Let's see. Uh, because of that wickedness, man. Eh, I'll leave it at that, man, because I, I don't want to, I don't want to overdo it, man. But basically, yeah, that's it, man. You know what I mean? Prepare, prepare for judgment, man. With that, I'm gonna say, show one.